For our demonstration, let's configure DHCP on a Cisco router and observe it operating to hand out an IP address to our workstation. If you remember, a few slides ago I showed you this screenshot of our IPv4 configuration window for Windows 10. We set that to obtain IP address automatically to get our IP address from the DHCP server, but I wanted to come back to this because it's important for us to understand what it is that we need to configure on the DHCP server to make it work. So one of the things that we need to configure here is an IP address range. So we're going to tell the DHCP server a range of addresses to hand out so that it can fill in this IP address spot in our Windows configuration. Additionally, we're going to tell it what mask to use. So we're going to tell the DHCP server what subnet mask. And additionally, we're going to tell it the IP address of our default gateway. The default gateway is simply going to be the router's IP address. Additionally, in order to get it so that we can go to a site like google.com or pluralsite.com, we will need our DNS server. So we're also going to have to configure DNS. So we need IP address range, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server. Let's go configure those options on our router so that my workstation can automatically get its IP address. Before I configure that DHCP server, let's look at a few things on my workstation. First off, let's look at my Windows configuration here. I'm going to open up my IPv4 configuration, just like we saw in the previous slide there. And right now I do have it set to obtain my IP address automatically. And if I do IP config, Right now I see the 169.254.64.207 address. Anytime I see an address of 169.254, that should be an immediate warning sign to any engineer that's working on this that something's wrong, that we're never going to use that address space to do any kind of networking. It's not that we can't use that address space. It's that seeing that address space means that some device is trying to auto configure things. And when we auto configure things, they often end up getting set up in, in an unpredictable way and we cannot determine how or if it's going to work. So 169.254 means that it is not configured correctly, which means that our DHCP server has not been set up yet, which we already know. So I'm gonna cancel out of all of this. And one other thing that I wanna do is I wanna actually disconnect my workstation from the router. So I'm gonna disconnect, it's not actually connected to the router, it's connected to the switch, but I'm gonna disconnect my workstation there. You should have seen my network icon in the lower right-hand corner. Just put a red X there. The reason I wanna do that is while I'm configuring the DHCP server on the router, once I tell the server one piece of information, it'll start handing out IP addresses to the workstations. Well, when that happens, the workstation will only receive maybe an IP address and not a default gateway or not a DNS server. So then even though the PC is getting an IP address, it's not functioning correctly. Now that I have that disconnected just for the moment, I'm going to open up PuTTY and connect via the serial port. We'll log into the router. And this router has just a very basic configuration on it. If I do show run, I do have SSH enabled on here. I've set the passwords and host name. I've created a username for SSH there. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 has an IP address of 10.0.0.1 with a 24-bit mask. Uh, looks like I'm using DHCP to acquire an address on Fast Ethernet 01, but we're not even going to work with Fast Ethernet 01 at this point. We're just going to stick with this connection, Fast Ethernet 00, and that is where my workstation is currently connected. The rest of it is just our security online Con0 and Aux0.